So have you ever thought about how gunshot detection and facial recognition technology can be used in manufacturing? If not, you probably should. Hi, this is Tim Shinbar of VP Manufacturing Technology at AMT, the Association for Manufacturing Technology. Here today at MC Squared, we have Jeff Rizzi from Sandvik Cormont. Jeff, great talk first off. Thank uh, you very third much. Third day keynote, was just a, an amazing look into the future of manufacturing. But, but I have to ask you, your first bullet out of the gate was talking about connectivity. <laughs> my technical background was at the edge of my seat, but you put a different cultural perspective on that. Explain that to me a little bit. Yeah, I mean, my, my idea was to, to be a little provocative, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I'm, I'm not a technical guy from the data and all that side, but I wanted to maybe bring the discussion down to the shop floor mm -hmm. level and what really happens on the shop floor and to try to connect technology companies to what is historically a very conservative manufacturing mm -hmm. industry. So my, my real goal there was to try to try to get the you know the technology companies to understand what the real baseline of this is for manufacturing right. when it comes to technology and, and, and that we have to I don't want to say dumb it down, but we have to bring it down so that we can take a stepped approach. We're not going to be able to make big giant leaps, mm -hmm. you know, in this industry. So my goal there was really to, you know, to to, to basically get it get everybody on the same playing field, I guess is the best way to describe sure, it, and, sure. and you know, connect the cultural differences between these two industries. It's just as important for the cultural development as it is for the technical development. A absolutely, because yeah. if, if, if you don't have the right uh, culture and you don't have the people buying into it, the technology never works. Understood. Right, so. Yeah. A couple things you brought up after that were technologies not necessarily known in the manufacturing industry. Two of them, facial recognition, gunshot detection. Bring that to manufacturing from your perspective. Yeah, I mean, again, a little provocative. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, it's, it, it, it was about, you know, uh, you know, the data that we have today in manufacturing, mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it's a lot of good data, but what else is there can we, can mm -hmm. we do? What more other technology can we bring in? And those two technologies, I think, allow us to dream a little bit okay. about how, okay. how we might be able to do some new things and get new data. You know, if you think about facial recognition and how it actually works, right? And it's 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 calculating, it's it's looking at features of a <laughs> of a person's face, and you know, you talk, talk about the variations, you know, worldwide of that, mm -hmm. and it's searching databases and making connections. You know, can we use that technology to train in on a machining process, mm -hmm. right? Right. You know, the way a the way a chip forms, or right, the way a tool you know cuts. Can we actually use this technology to actually understand mm -hmm. something's changing in the process? We need to do something different. And the speed of that's incredible. You're talking about doing near, if not real time. Uh, it's 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 tremendous. <laughs> I mean, the you know the the time it takes for, you know, the technology to recognize a face, and then you know point out who it actually mm -hmm. is 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 like instantaneous. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, uh, I think I talked a little bit about this the demonstration I saw of the Matrix movie right, running in fast right. forward and how this was picking up faces just it's unbelievable phenomenal. fast. Yeah. Phenomenal. It's so so I think that there's some some possibilities for that type of technology mm -hmm. in the future. Maybe not exactly that, but sure. some derivative of, mm -hmm. of that mm -hmm. technology. Now the sensitive ear that the uh, artisan machinist knows about. <laughs> Talk to us now with the gunshot detection. Well, you know, we already have the ability to use, you know, vibration detection, things like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're talking about sound and, you know, the, 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 the technology around gunshot detection and, and how it's able to, you know, listen, mm -hmm. hear a gunshot, hear a sound and know it's a gunshot mm -hmm. with, with the accuracy, like 99 point something percent right. accuracy. So you eliminate all the false positives. Can we take that same type of technology train it in on the manufacturing process and listen for, again, variations, right, mm -hmm. in, the, in the manufacturing process. Sure. I want to hear a certain sound. I mean, maybe I want to listen if an insert breaks and sure. I can shut down, Absolutely. right? So there's, there's a number of ways if you think about the technology, again, it's not there today, mm -hmm. but how do we take those ideas and those concepts and apply them into yeah. the manufacturing you know, space? Because today, all the sensor technology is behind the spindle. Right. That's a great point. Right, so how do we utilize external sensors and mm -hmm. so forth to do stuff like that? What you talked about that is a little bit closer to today is the augmented reality, 
Talk a little bit about the tablet demonstration we saw and where you see that and how that is so uh, enabling today, but where it might go in the future. I mean, th there, it's already been used in other industries mm -hmm. quite effectively. Um, we did a demonstration at, uh, at IMTS this past year mm. where we were using the Google Glass and the, the, the operator would look at a tool or a tool mm -hmm. holder mm -hmm. and it would recognize that tool holder, it would recognize the part number, connect them automatically to the digital catalog mm -hmm. so they can search for that, they can look at spare parts and then it would connect them automatically to the website that they can place an order if they wanted. Got it. Right? So they didn't have to know, because if you know much about the shop floor, mm -hmm. they don't always have their part numbers <laughs> right. inscribed anymore, right? Or an insert isn't, you know, it's hard to always keep the, the description of the tool sure. right sure. on the tool. So you think about that technology. The possibility in the future is connecting to maybe one of our technical people mm -hmm. via virtual. So our people can see remotely what they see. Got it. Right? So there's those those possibilities mm -hmm. or a tool setup person who has to assemble maybe some complex mm -hmm. right tool assembly. You know, today the, the process is they're usually reading off a sheet of paper, right? <laughs> right. And they're trying to figure out torque. But literally it walks them through virtually yeah. how to do it as they're doing it. Mm -hmm. So really I think the applications are are really, you know, really exciting quite honestly. Absolutely. So. Fantastic. Jeff, I want to thank you again for spending some time with us, not only at MC Squared Conference, but here on this interview as well. Sure, thanks for having me. Absolutely. This is Tim Shimbara from IMTS-TV. Thanks for joining us.